This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate fly sim hardware solution. Featuring the Orion Hotels, current and future configurations. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's mid-June 2021, we're in the F-16C Viper. We now have access to the JDAMs. So let's dive right in. Armament screen, we can carry the JDAMs on stations 3 and 7. On each station, under bombs, we can carry a single GBU-38 JDAM, that's the 500 pound variant, or a Brew-57 rack with two GBU-38s on, or a GBU-31V1B 2000 pound JDAM, or the 3B variant, which is the Penetrator variant. We're going to have two GBU-38 on each station. We're not going to take a T-Pod today, although we can designate from the T-Pod, as we'll talk about later. Next, controls. To drop the bomb, it's either going to be push and hold weapons release or just a push of weapon release, depending on our technique, but we'll talk about that later. To designate a SPI in VIS mode, we will use TMS up. To move our aiming reticle in VIS mode, we'll use RDR cursor switch left, right, up and down, or the axis equivalent. And that's all we need. Next, we need to align these weapons. You'd usually do this in the air, but just for the tutorial, I'm gonna to go to air to ground. This brings us to our JDAM screen on the right. We're gonna turn the power on. Currently, our alignment status is A10. This is the worst state of alignment. It will count down all the way to A1 and then say ready. And you can see the bombs are now ready to use. Back to nav mode. We're airborne now and the target is in front of us. In terms of role play, we want to show you as much as we can in as short as time as possible. So we have two modes to drop these bombs, pre-planned and visual. Under pre-planned, we're going to show a ripple of bombs. So under pre-planned, we're gonna drop bombs on tank one, two, and three. And we're going to designate SPIs, SPI, sensor point of interest for each of those targets via steer points. Those steer points have already been preset in the mission editor on those targets. Another way you could have designated is using a T-Pod and creating a SPI from a T-Pod on each tank. It's just quicker this way. In Viz mode, we're going to do a single drop on a visually acquired target and we're going to drop on this monastery. So let's get started. Air to ground mode, move to the JDAM screen on the right screen. So we're in air to ground mode. We're in pre-planned mode. We could be in viz, but pre-planned mode. We can go to the inventory. We can go to the controls. We'll come back to that. We have selected four times GBU 38. We currently have the power off. We're going to repower them and they're already aligned from earlier. We can perform a built-in test. We have currently selected station three and unselected station seven. We have up to four profiles that we can create. These profiles consist of AD, arming delay, the amount of seconds after we've dropped the bomb at which the bomb will delay. FD, fuse delay, we'll come back to that. Impact angle, the angle at which we want the bomb to hit the target. 90 degrees is straight down, zero degrees is completely level impact azimuth if you put zero in here then that will be a non-specified value one to 360 are going to be the heading that you want the bomb to try and achieve as it hits the target 360 north 180 south and so on and impact velocity the minimum achieved velocity of the bomb in feet per second so we'll adjust profile one to do that, go to control. Seconds between four and 25 seconds that we talked about, let's make that five seconds. For fusing of the bomb, either air or ground or ground delay. Air currently not functional. Ground functional, but the fuse delay here in milliseconds currently not functional. Ground delay in hours currently not functional. So we're just gonna leave it on ground and zero milliseconds impact angle we can just change that to whatever we want uh, five zero enter 50 degrees impact azimuth just leave that as non-stated zero and impact velocity leave it at 700 feet per second that is our bomb set up remove control next let's designate our first target 
all we have to do is create a SPI and we can do that by selecting a steer point. Well, we've already got steer point one selected and that means we have a SPI created and that means we can go and drop the bomb now. Check master arm is on of course and it is. Next, let's look at HUD symbology. I'm enclosing here DLZ, dynamic launch zone. That is zero miles. That is 20 miles or nautical miles. That is our current range to the target about 13 miles. That is our max, maximum release range. That is our min, minimum release range. We must drop the bomb while the chevron is between that point and that point. In terms of navigation, the target is at a heading of 239 magnetic for 13 nautical miles. In terms of steering assistance, ASL, azimuth steering line here. All we have to do is fly to keep our FPM, flight path marker, on the azimuth steering line. Once our range gets closer to our max, this guy here, the drop cue, will begin to drop. Once the drop cue reaches the FPM here, that will mean that we are at our max and we can drop. There are two ways of dropping the bomb. First, press and hold weapon release as the drop cue is dropping. The bomb will then automatically drop when we reach our max or we can wait until the drop cue has reached the FPM and we've hit our max and then we can do a single press of weapon release to drop the bomb. I'm going to do the second way because it's going to be easier to create a ripple. A ripple means multiple bomb bombs out one after the other. And finally we can see at the bottom left of the HUD we are in pre-planned mode rather than visual. So I'm pausing, burner on, let's align the FPM with the ASL, see our range chevron coming down towards our max. In terms of altitude, there isn't really a stipulated altitude, I guess, just above five or 6,000 will be fine. Look at the uh, drop cue coming down now towards the FPM. You can see once it's reached the FPM, I will then press one click of weapon release. And press one bomb out. Next, we're going to increment our waypoint to waypoint two, or steer point two, sorry. Press, next, we're gonna increment it with steer point three press. I've dropped three bombs on three speeds created via steer points one to three. I'm now going to put my altitude hold on F6. Watch the magic. Check that I'm still flying and I am. If my calculations have worked correctly, valued viewers, 50 degrees impact, 700 feet per second at least. One, two, three. Not bad, huh? Next, remember, we've got for role plays purposes to go and bomb the monastery in visual mode. So from pre, we're going to go to visual. We are now going to use the ping HUD to designate the speed for the target. So I'm going to fly towards the target. Let's see if we can find it. Okay, let's go and have a look what we've got. Now look where the FPM is. You can see it's got the target designator box around it. And I might as well just get a little bit closer. I'm now going to use the RDR cursors to move the target designator box and press TMS up when it's on the target. So ping there. Now, I'm just going to pause here. The usual bombing symbology appears. ASL, DLZ, drop Q, and FPM hidden in there. So let's go and do it all again. I'm going to unpause. I'm in range to drop, but let's just get a little bit closer and a bit more on target and drop the bomb. And what we should see, I suppose I'll get demonetized for this as well, but I should see a monastery going down. Hey, bing, boom. So that shows the two modes, pre-planned and visual mode, and what we can use them for. The only other note to make is that we can use the T-Pod to designate targets on the fly with the pre-planned setting by creating a speed from the T-Pod, which is all simple and easy to do. Hope you enjoyed that and see you later.